I have 63 WhatsApp groups, 22 Facebook groups, and I follow many, many pages that I didn't even count. But when I thought of exiting all these groups, I had this queasy, uneasy feeling. I just couldn't do it. Then I discovered that I'm suffering from what they call as FOMO, fear of missing out. FOMO is a feeling of anxiety when you want to be part of something and you're not. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my discovery of FOMO and what I did to overcome it. Uh, let me say, what am I doing to overcome it? Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. If this interests you, don't forget to follow my channel on YouTube and while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. And if you're watching this on Facebook, do not forget to follow and like my page. Did you know that FOMO arises out of anxiety and insecurity? I did not know that until I realized I was going through it. And you know what else it was causing me? Mood swings, feelings of inferiority, irritability. And you know why? Because my mind told me that there are so many things that are happening around and I am not part of it. In fact, I don't even know why I started thinking like this. Initially, I couldn't even figure out what was the issue with me until I meditated on it. That is when it stuck me. I'm actually experiencing fear of missing out on things that I thought were happening and I'm not part of them. So what did I do? First things first, I accepted that I had an issue. You know, the best way to deal with any issue is to first of all accept that you have one. Admitting and accepting that you have an issue is a first step to ease anxiety. And it helped me tremendously because when you know you have an issue, you will find solution to it, right? That's exactly what I've done. And to find solution, I had to get to the root of it. I had to find out why I was experiencing FOMO. After a little bit of research, I realized that this is exclusively tech effect. Because we have social media and the information is accessible to me, I thought I should be everywhere. And that very notion began to add stress on me. Once I realized what the source was, the next thing I did was to cut out that source. So I created a goal to exit out from all those groups where I've not communicated for over a week. Believe me, I exited from 12 such groups in less than one minute and the feeling was exhilarating. It's the same feeling that we get when we have a haircut after a long time. The sense of freedom. Now that I've experienced this, the next thing I did was to switch off technology. If there was no technology, there wouldn't be any FOMO, isn't it? Switching off the very technology that is making you insecure in the first place can help in overcoming the anxiety. So I don't mean shutting your mobile off permanently or I don't even mean that exiting from all your social media accounts, nothing as drastic as that. I simply minimize my attachment to it, which means creating regular intervals in a day where you will be available and accessible and of course browse through all your social media accounts. It's actually a cognitive behavior technique and I use it with my clients all the time. It wasn't easy but it wasn't difficult either. I just had to get into the discipline of it because it's not really the fault of social media accounts or even technology. It's my fault of using it excessively. The next thing I did was to stop my mental chatter because always the most important thing that I can ever deal with or that I can ever control is myself and I needed to know that. I needed to calm my mental chatter. I need to know and accept that no one is expecting a reply from you. I needed to know and accept that no one will like your post just because you liked it. I needed to know and accept what my priorities are. This realization calmed my mind and when I'm calm, things automatically fell into place. But that's not all. I also created an accountability partner to help me overcome in the future. So your accountability partner can be your best friend or a coach who can help you take better decisions. Because sometimes we tend to become vulnerable and this can cloud our decisions. Having an accountability partner will help you clear those clouds so that you can take decisions with a clear mind. So there you are, those are the things that I've done to overcome my FOMO the anxiety and insecurity that comes along with it. Wait a minute, have I really overcome it? Not yet. But what I've learned is that using these, I'm able to at least gain control of my life. Let me recap them again for you.
what do you think about these do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms i will read them at my designated time and ensure that i will reply to you thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you find it resourceful do hit a like button and share it with your friends and i'll see you next week with another topic until then take good care of yourself